there are territories that have patterns where those who work for things never enjoy it have you seen that pattern you labor there are people who have raised others there are people in nigeria almost every great name they participated in their rising and yet there is nothing for you it's a spirit it's a pattern they sit over territories Just pray in the spirit in one minute. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap that I will not destroy them. hallelujah let me finish because we're going to pray tonight worship team get ready you will sing that my song for me again ah, my spirit is fired up listen you have to say enough is enough if not for your sake for your children unborn i've gone through the pain already let innocent people not go through this again i've gone through the poverty i went through the pain of idolatry I went through the pain of polygamy. I went through the pain of delay. Go through it for their sake. That is the character of an intercessor. Shaka tabakatos, the prende ketes koto baskatia, embreketa, rekete koto koto ketea, rebas koto shana katamia kata. Someone pray, you are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you. Listen to me. Hear me. Please listen to me. I'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession. There are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents, no matter the investment. It's not that they are bad. They find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame. You send them to go for studies, they return with shame wasting your money and your time remember what i taught you he continued further if and when unhindered evil will always continue further hear me let me tell you this i made up my mind and i made a covenant with god that everything i've suffered in my life it ends with me my children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute i'd like you to pray send prayer investments let it end with me let it end with me the poverty the failure the limitations let it end here thus far have you come no further shall you go pray 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 Let's 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Please sit down. Just help those under the anointing. Now hear me please. Don't be distracted. We are praying. I want you right now as you are seated. In one minute. Study the patterns you have seen in your family. Just think about it honestly. Study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from. There are regions that have the spirit of anger. There are regions that have the spirit of disunity. There are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility. It's the women that serve the men. There are regions that have, help them please. Kabashka Nikatosia. Widespread laziness. Oh, 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 oh,
let the mantle of the intercessor the grace for prayer and supplication may it come upon you tonight every laziness in your prayer life whatever has fought your prayer life that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and change things spiritually in the name of Jesus I decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued because your intercessory ministry was absent I stand by the grace of God and we bring an end to it now hear me please I want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family start there the dynamics of interceding for territories there are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence there is a series on that and I will teach you but you can start with your family he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not when you leave this place you can use this night use tomorrow and pray lock yourself collect the prayer request from your family members send them a text and say please forward me your prayer request put them before the God of your salvation and begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom pray God reveals to you something about your pastor about what he wants to do in the church put it down pray and you watch what begins to happen when a people pray in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of God at work in your life you will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it you will speak over regions and territories and it will be so even by the decree of the watchers in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and I agree with you whatever burden you came here with every service is a miracle service there might be an official season but every service once there is faith and hunger it is a miracle service therefore I agree with you that everything you came here trusting God for I release my faith with you may it become your testimony this moment in the name of Jesus Christ oh, 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 I can see with the eyes of the Spirit and I see a mighty army rising yes I know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 o
next five minutes there is going to be a mighty impartation listen you can choose to spectate and watch others or you can cry to your maker and say lord if this is the moment let this be a destiny encounter someone lift up your voice and in the next one minute i don't know how you are going to cry to god now hear me please listen to me i must tell you this before we begin this impartation whether you're on the ground whether you're kneeling just listen hear me can i tell you the purity of heart and the desire to glorify jesus is the biggest attractor of the power of god the purity of heart and the desire to glorify jesus not a desire for fame not a desire for competition let me have it too so i can prophesy like the rest let me have it too so no one will mock me the agenda of god is bigger than self-aggrandizement the purity of heart i repeat and the desire to see jesus glorified he said nevertheless the foundation of the lord standeth sure having this seal the lord knoweth them that are his and let every man that named the name of christ depart from iniquity it says but in a great house there are vessels of gold and silver of wood and clay some vessels are unto honor and some vessels are unto dishonor it says if a man will purge himself that man will be a vessel unto honor meet for the master's use i want you to pray one prayer lord purify my heart purify my heart edit my motives take away the secret desire for competition the secret desire to outshine the secret desire to trample on others the secret desire to be the only celebrity carrying on power lord take it out of my life purify my motive someone pray someone pray Someone pray. Hallelujah. Now, the power of God is coming. I want you to start bringing the people outside. I'm just seeing angelic manifestations right now. And I'm about to speak there is an opening of the gates please whether you are an usher or not i want you to just bring those under the anointing here now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands i'm seeing the spirit of revelation access to light the mysteries of the kingdom where are they let it come upon you like the dew of come on take that grace take that grace take that grace receive that mantle take that grace i release you call them please so they don't enjoy themselves receive that grace i empower you by that mantle the eyes that see the ears that hear in the mighty name of jesus christ fire upon your life let your eyes be washed with eyes up that you may see now i'm praying please i want you to listen bring them out there are people here one of the end time mantles that is going to be restored to the church is authentic healing ministry 
the healing ministry with power that heals and i sense that there are people here some of you have been praying and fasting please bring them out i stretch my hands that mantle to heal take the healing power of jesus to the nations receive it now receive it now receive it now men and women like Catherine Pullman men and women like every sample McPherson we reignite that apostolic fire that revival to heal the sick to heal the sick to heal the sick to heal the sick Hallelujah. Now hear me. This is a prophetic ministry. Your father is a prophet. And there are many of you who are connected to this vision. But that prophetic mantle has been hovering around you. But it has not landed in your life. I want to release that grace. I believe there are people here who will begin to walk in strange levels of the prophetic. Can I release that mantle upon you? Father, I don't know where they are in this crowd and watching. Everyone called into the prophetic office, the prophetic ministry. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that grace now. Take that up and cut Oh, shake it down. Take that grace now. Men and women, drink of the prophetic fountain. Help this lady, please. Drink of the prophetic fountain. Please help us. In the name of Jesus, I stir up that prophetic grace. I stir up that prophetic grace. Spring up all wells. Spring up all prophetic wells. Spring up all prophetic wells. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne, mountains bow down, every ocean rose to the king of kings. We will praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day, praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth. Is there a name like Diolu? Diolu, is it Diolu or something? Who is Diolu? Come. Shalis Kariku Sabranda Katoshka Vredi Gemele. What do you do, sir? You are a pastor. I want to pray for you because the Lord is saying the limitation you have seen in ministry that is about to take it away as a reproach. Take that reproach away. I pray for you, sir. I do not know you, but in the name of Jesus, may the hand of God rest upon you. Take that grace right now. A new season by the Spirit of the Living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Who is um? I'm hearing my name. You're my namesake, Joshua. Please make sure you don't run. Less we have just a few minutes. I'm I'm working on extra time, so make sure you don't tell lies just come and stand here you will receive 
bring the person who shouts right now a loud shout loud shout you are joshua i want to pray for you what is your name my friend help this boy huh what's his name this gentleman your name is joshua help this guy i declare that the yoke of witchcraft and I'm, as I'm praying for him, I'm praying for someone. Everything that has tied your life and limited you from advancing. Every altar. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I'm seeing fire. Help this guy. Please help him so he doesn't end up in I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Is there a name like Demola? Demola. You are wearing white. Demola. Is there someone like that? Demola. Who is that? What is your name? What do you do? I want to pray for you. Um, you, are, you are destined for greatness. But I'm seeing a serious limitation on your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Help him. Be delivered right now. There is a gentleman here. You do Uber. Is it Uber or Bolt? Who is that person? I'm seeing somebody driving a car. And the Lord is saying I should pray for the person. Because there is an anointing that is coming. You do uh, this. Um, or what they call it now. Is there a gentleman like that? Who is that? That's what you do? No, no, no. I'm please make sure is, is that what you do because one of you i'm seeing that you are going into real estate god is going to bring somebody it will start just by helping you somebody is saying sell something and yet that's how god will help you and establish you in your destiny i stretch my hands may the grace that lifts and help men rise may that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ you will go and prosper by the power of the holy spirit I'm seeing a lady here, your elder sister is yet to have a child. Your elder sister is yet to have a child. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. Who is that person? Please come. The season has come. Your elder sister, where is she? In United Kingdom. Is that where she is? Where is she? That's what I'm saying. The Lord is saying her, her time has come. In the name of, if she's following or she, wherever she is, in the name of Jesus, we agree. We don't care what the medical situation is. If the Lord has spoken, an anointing is coming upon you for our own sake. Receive that grace now. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I use as a point of contact that everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Here at this convention, we decree and declare, may the God of all possibilities visit them. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want you two things, two supernatural miracles you are trusting God for. We release our faith under this corporate anointing. Open your mouth and begin to make that demand. And watch the God of all possibilities. Two impossible situations. Go ahead and pray. You just obey instructions. In the name of Jesus Christ, someone is praying. What is that that has mocked God in your life? You're trusting God to overturn. Is it a financial situation? A marital situation? An academic situation? A health situation? We stand by the privilege of priesthood and the prophetic. Releasing our faith with you. Make that petition unto God. He said, what thing soever ye desire. When ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. He says to be anxious for nothing but that in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he said let your request be made known unto god pray ask the 
God of all possibilities visit me in this area change my story in this area wipe my tears give me a testimony in the name of Jesus give me a testimony visit my father visit my mother visit my wife my husband my children visit my family visit my ministry my business pray one more minute you are praying in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray I shared with you yesterday on the school of faith Ezekiel 37 he said son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest and he said prophesy let me speak over your life the prophetic can be revelatory but the prophetic can be creative it can make what has no business happening to happen in the name of Jesus I stand in partnership with the grace upon the prophet of God in this house to declare over someone every door that has refused to open malice from this moment forward we declare that door open now shout a loud amen open now open now open now open now in the name of jesus let me command restoration he said alas master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it there are many people who are in all kinds of situations in need of restoration by the power of the highest i speak to someone between now and the end of march i speak prophetically let there be supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration number three let me pray for you and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but that was not his story the Bible says the mother cursed him as a result of her pain Jabez but he got to a point where he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast I want to pray for someone whatever has limited you in the name that is above all names be enlarged right now be enlarged right now I prophesy increase expand to the north expand to the east expand to the south expand to the west in the name of Jesus a man called Job who was once the richest man in the east the Bible says that man went down from grace to grass until he became an object of mockery but in Job chapter 42 and verse 10 the Bible says and God turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends and he said all his former acquaintances who had left him they now began to return and the Bible says everyone brought gifts and a piece of money I declare whoever has left you by reason of the tragedies that have come upon your life I compel them to return with gifts I compel them to return with favor I compel them to return with favor I compel them to return with favor two more impartations and we're done Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty let me declare there is a grace for favor it compels men and systems to walk towards your progress wherever you are I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost let the grace for favor rest on you let the grace of favor rest on your business rest on your ministry rest on your family in the name of Jesus finally I want to pray for you the Bible says and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death I want to rebuke the ugly spirit of untimely death that is sweeping from nation to nation destroying great lives and great potentials I hope you know that death is beyond the phenomenon death is a spirit according to revelation the rider upon the pale horse 
holding a pair of balances on his hand and his name is death death is a spirit more than just a natural occurrence and that spirit like all other spirits can answer to the name of Jesus therefore I declare he says to deliver them who have been appointed unto death anyone here and any family that the devil is already programming that you will not see the end of 2023 anyone here that in the realm of the spirit it is almost like a done deal i declare in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead the fullness of your days you will fulfill the fullness of your days you will fulfill you will not die not by the sword not by accident not by plane crash not by kidnapping not by the activity of wicked men the lord preserves your going in the lord preserves your coming out in the name of jesus that name that is above every other name listen as you shout that name there are certain people in this place that the doors that have been closed making things to not work in their life you have done the best you know to do and doors don't seem to be opening when a door opens all that is left is advancement you can walk through i'm about to pray for you right now the power of god is coming mightily upon you at the count of three one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus doors open doors open 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 that they go forward open bring them out we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors pray we unlock the doors please bring them out quickly we unlock the doors by the power that raised Christ from the dead doors many of you will be surprised what is happening to you I say it again doors by the key of David that can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open every door that has been shut over your destiny shut over your life a father that door is open now that door is open now the door of advancement a father be open now be open now god is opening doors in the name of jesus that every door that stands before me that should be open i declare it open by the key of david that is able to open a door that no man can shut bring them up hallelujah now i want to pray the power of god is coming on many people and he said it's an anointing for restoration hear me when that anointing comes on your life you will be surprised that things that should have happened starts chasing you to look for you again for some of you by that anointing you will be surprised that relationships opportunities will return by the power of the holy spirit at the count of three may that restoration mantle wherever you are one two three shout jesus take that anointing take that anointing strange restoration in ministry restoration of your dignity restoration of honor restoration everything that used to walk that no longer walks i command that mantle to fall on you that grace for restoration and i will restore and i will restore and i will restore i'm still praying it again this anointing is coming on many people 
let there be restoration now son of man can these bones leave it says only thou knowest son of man can this family leave son of man can this ministry leave again son of man can this man of god leave again but i prophesy to you may that anointing come upon you now some of you were seated in the place of honor and something happened in your life and brought you down i command may that anointing take you back to that place may this restoration mantle let it take you back to your place of honor restore 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 we are still speaking restoration lord restore 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 Shanemana saga branda ga paratas ko de balakate. Hear me. Please look up. For some of you, when the devil attacked you and brought you down, he put someone to occupy your place. In the name of Jesus, we dislodge them now. Paratos kata with aparikate bata. Anyone sitting on your glory. A paraketa sitting on your job, sitting on your honor, sitting on your sacrifice by prophecy. I dislodge them now. Restore everything that I've lost. Restore. In the name of Jesus, restore. Hallelujah. I'm feeling fire in my left hand and I'm wondering what this is for. There are many of you like physical fire. You will begin to feel it on both of your hands. It's a strange anointing that God is placing on you right now as I'm speaking all over the congregation shapradikata is a, is a kind of anointing this thing is a ministerial grace is a gift of the spirit that god is granting you man of god prophet of god apostle pastor it's time to carry that grace there is an anointing upon your hands you will walk wonders with it bring them out that anointing is resting upon you I feel fire upon my hands for some of you is a healing anointing some of you is a breakthrough anointing let it come let it come let it come in the name of Jesus let it come Ale baranda your hands will no longer be ordinary hands your hands will no longer be ordinary hands in the name of Jesus hear me this fire is coming upon you it's a grace for multiplication it's not just a healing anointing alone I'm saying it again everyone here who cannot multiply what God gives you that anything he gives you remains at that level I release the grace for multiplication I release the grace for multiplication hallelujah now listen this next prayer is for everybody but please let me beseech you by the message of god you are going to be receiving while you look at your neighbor so that we manage the things that can happen here are we together now how many of you believe there is a grace for speed If you have never opened your heart to receive the grace for speed please i beseech you by the message of god here is your chance i'm going to pray you will be surprised people will start running that's why i said please help them i decree and declare father that fire that can energize a man a business a ministry a 
and bring speed at the count of three some of you have been delayed in the name of jesus you are about to take that anointing now shout jesus at the count of three one two three speed 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 may that grace come upon you I release speed. No more delay in destiny. No more delay. Kadagata barakata, kabradagata bata. I don't care what altar has tied you down. I prophesy speed, speed. Every altar tying you down must release you now. Must release you now. Must release you now. Speed to your destiny, man of God. Experience speed in ministry, career person. Speed in career. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hallelujah. Who is Rosemary? I'm hearing a name Rosemary. Is there someone with that name? Your name is Rosemary. Where are you coming from, madam? Come. Rosemary. Jesus. Who is Japheth? I'm hearing a name Japheth. 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 I want to pray for you. Where are you from, madam? This woman. From Delta State. Delta State. I want to pray for you. You came alone? My husband and my daughter. Is your husband here? And my daughter. Come. The Lord is about to turn the life of this family. Please, if he's here, can you call him? Husband, please come. I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to... What do you do? I'm a banker. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are considering leaving the bank. Yes, sir. To where? My own company. I'm going to pray for you. You are in the will of God. I want to pray for you. I will not come and speak carelessly like this. Believe me. Because the Lord will elevate you. I will, I, look at the little girl kneeling down to In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands upon you and I pray. I'm praying for you, but it's your wife. The anointing will come on. This is very strange. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you carry a grace, a mantle for favor. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands all of you are rosemary i will pray for you two of you the power of god is coming on you now that's all right i will pray for everybody i'm seeing two of you right now fire is coming on two of you two of the rosemary's in front here in jesus name i lose that chain i lose that chain i'm seeing a chain i lose it now the name of jesus christ lose that chain now let them go let them go let them go by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you 
you coming from? I want to pray for you. I hope you are not embarrassed. Madam, I'm seeing you holding a basket that is supposed to look like a container. Anything poured in it goes down. What do you do? I want to pray for you. Huh? You are what? I'm into event planning. You are into event planning. I don't know. I'm just saying that I'm seeing you holding a basket, intending to hold a container that everything that is poured there goes down. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands upon you. You came for a miracle service. May this grace rest upon you that will turn your life around and everything fighting you. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. One of you in front here will start shouting loud under the anointing. I don't know why, but God just gave me that word. In front, just in front here. Hello, him, Madonai. let me talk to you this man the one at your back please come your life is about to change hallelujah Kai. god is showing me something that there is someone now please don't come out at random i'm watching in a vision i'm not even seeing the face of the person but I'm seeing like an event. You were rising like on a ladder. Everybody was seeing you and beginning to clap for you. And suddenly I saw what looked like an arrow. It hit what you were holding and you started going down. This person I'm talking about. I hope I'm right, but I think it's a hold on, hold on, hold on. The person I'm seeing in my vision, you are a Yoruba person. Who is who is Wale? 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 Is there somebody like that? Oh, this man. Please come and stand. I know the lion, I know the lamb, I know the lion, I know the lamb, I believe in the lion. I will follow the lion. What do you do, sir? I'm a night consultant. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a plane leave here and going to UK and coming back and going to UK again and coming back and going to UK again, coming back. Do you have an office there? I'd like you to prepare. This is the next season of what God is doing. Look at me, sir. You are a good man, but it's surprising you how you have not even risen to the level that your expertise should have taken you to. I want to pray for you. You see, but let me tell you some things. Skill is very important, but until your gift is anointed, it will still not bless you. Being gifted and being anointed are not the same. Your gift must be anointed to find visibility. Wale. Let them come. Sir, can I pray for you? Please lift your hand, this man. Father, you have given us the grace to lift and to bless. I stretch my hands upon you. By reason of this anointing, I decree and declare, find favor. Find favor in the name of Jesus. And everything that fights you, I curse it right now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you my dear brothers here Wale the Lord gave me that word in the name of Jesus there's one or two of you here there is a, a terrible demonic attack this is like a conspiracy over what you do in Jesus name I stretch my hands and I pray for you right now by the power this is what I'm hearing in my spirit having the readiness to judge every disobedience if your obedience is complete there are some of you that may need to go back and just make things right and get things right but I pray for you mercy is my first prayer and then in the name of Jesus by this anointing let there be restoration restoration the power of God is coming on one of you although you came out to receive I don't know what for but there is a call of God upon your life and God has been working on you in the name of Jesus I declare may that grace this grace is not for manifestation is a grace for the secret place in Jesus name I stretch my hands may that grace come upon you God will make you God will build you until you become a mighty battle axe in his hands in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every one of you who has stood here in the name of Jesus go back and experience restoration in Jesus name I pray amen God bless you thank you who is Victoria you can imagine that there are you see when I call names like this is not this is not guessing you can imagine that there are many people who are named like that but I just call as God ministers to me and then also to save time I'm going to pray for you this man is this your wife come What do you do, sir? I'm a lecturer. You're a lecturer. Where? In Covenant University. I want to pray for you. Hmm. The favor of God is real. Oh. When the favor of God rests upon a man, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you travel out of this nation, and it has to do with your work, something you are doing. I'm seeing that God is lifting you and you'll be there for a while and that you will you will connect to strange lifters and help us in the name of Jesus Christ I stand in partnership with the grace upon our father and the Lord Bishop David Oedipo and I agree with you as a lecturer in Covenant University by the power that raised Christ from the dead sir you and your wife something is coming upon your wife it is a grace she is going to start having prophetic encounters your wife she will start having dreams and start seeing things and they will happen the way she saw it i declare madam may that grace rest upon you this is victoria okay i'm going to pray for you so sir, in the name of jesus i bless you i pray that whatever whether it is a, a a program or a project abroad you are doing in jesus name may the grace of god go with you and you will go and return a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you sir victoria i'm going to pray don't feel i'm not insulting you where eh? but i'm looking at you and i'm seeing manifestations of both human beings and snakes i'm not saying you are please don't miss don't worry i'm going to pray for you because i'm seeing a spirit this thing is it has attracted bad and wicked people to your life i want to pray for you i know you are a lot here right now i command that spirit there are two of you or three of you in fact let them go now 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 in the name of jesus christ this spirit that attracts wicked people wrong people in destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now I set you free do you know let me tell you the truth what is on you is what attracts what come around you are we together now in the name of Jesus I'm praying again every negative placement upon your head 
that keeps drawing negative things trouble to your life i declare be free now be free now be free now please lift your hands everybody god bless you you can return back to your seat everyone a mighty deliverance is going to happen here now before we pray for the sick what is deliverance a separation between you and a spirit or you and a limitation it is not always about spirit a separation between you and conditions that are unfavorable at the count of three the power and fire of God is going to fall here right now and I want you to bring those people out father anyone here and any family any individual who is under the influence of negative spirits making Zion to be called an outcast in the name that is above all names and by the blood of the eternal covenant every legal ground that satan has over any individual or any family by the blood of the eternal covenant as you shout the name jesus i declare that your liberty comes are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command altars i command yokes be broken now be broken now my god every altar tying down your destiny bring them out i curse it now i curse it now causes yokes of ancestry yokes connected to bloodline yokes release them now release them now release them now open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray i declare my liberty from every planting and every influence bring them out please every planting that is not of god over my life pray every fraternity with any spirit that is not of the christ i announce and i declare my liberty let them go now i rebuke that spirit release them now release them now hallelujah now please look at me i'm still ministering deliverance negative patterns and negative cycles it comes and then it comes again it comes and then it comes again i'm seeing at least 25 people father i don't know where they are these spirits that cause repetition of negative patterns at the count of three shout jesus and your deliverance comes one my god two three shout jesus be free be free be free negative patterns tying your family tying individuals bringing them to states where they recycle pain where they recycle shame where they recycle negative conditions be free hallelujah I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit go to the worship team and the Lord is telling me I have answered your prayer I don't know who that is I have answered your prayer this is what God is saying I have answered your prayer may that anointing rest upon that person it is between you and God you know what you have been asking him for but the Lord is saying I have answered your prayer and what he says to one he says to all let me prophesy over someone who has been praying over a long-standing issue in the name of Jesus what he has done for our brother or sister there may it be extended to you right now the power of witchcraft negative dreams negative experiences in the name of Jesus repetitive experiences negative experiences i command those spirits now let them go let god's people go release them now
Halabarados Katibranda Katibalatus, a gratus as he get Balada. Please stretch your hands towards me. You are about to receive in the realm of the spirit and it will manifest. Between now for some of you even this night that is outside of you will see people come to testify here. I'm saying it to you because I'm, I'm just it just distracted me in this vision. I'm looking at what looks like a box and then I'm seeing it being given to people. That's why I said stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands back at you prophetically. Receive that which God has for you. For some of you, it's a job. Receive it. Hallelujah. There is someone here, you have been trying to buy a house. The house you are negotiating, the person to sell it for you, the price you have been trusting that they bring it down. This is one of your major concerns. Please hear me. You will come and stand here and testify because something will happen this night in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you who, are, who came out here in front. Every foul spirit that has oppressed you in the name of Jesus be released now. Never to return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. The Lord is bringing healing. For the last two weeks, I've been hearing a name. In fact, it made me read it because, you know, I just said, is it for me or whatever it is? I've not really known so much about it. Cholesterol. That word, high cholesterol. And I had to go and sit down and I've heard about it passively, you know, but I had to go and study it and i kept hearing it even up until this afternoon as i prayed it's one of the areas of healing god wants to bring for people i had to study it to know what what does it mean to say someone has high cholesterol because some of those things are death sentences i'm not a medical doctor but doctors here will tell you let's start with that and then every other area of sickness please if you are standing in for someone now is your chance whether you are standing in the hospital. I know there are people in so many hospitals right now with patients following. I want you to connect. I'm about to pray for the sick. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. But particularly, I don't know those who have suffered from this high cholesterol issue. Probably you've gone to the hospital and they've told you or maybe the, the symptoms have been around. The Lord began to speak this into my ears. And as we pray, I want you to believe. You came with a sick person, now is your time to receive. And remember, like I taught us here, it is not only bodily infirmity. For some of you, you've lost a loved one, you are trusting God to heal. Some negative experience in your life that has tied you down and you cannot move forward. You had an accident and right now you can't move forward. You are afraid of buying a car, you are afraid of moving. You lost a child, you had a miscarriage, and you are afraid of starting again. Again is a very powerful word. Again means in spite of. Again. Place your hand right now and let's pray. Everyone who is trusting God for a miracle, if you are standing in for your loved one, any part of your body at all, now is your chance. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, I believe. hallelujah I know I'm ministering healing but there is someone here they stole from you it's like something happened thieves or somebody stole from you a business you are doing and since that time you have not moved forward again 
where is the person come I'm praying for the sick now please make sure you understand what I'm saying we're still praying for the sick don't be distracted they stole from you I know that most people may be coming out but this person I'm talking about they stole something significant from you and your life just went down like that there are at least seven people right now as I'm seeing in my vision while I'm this I'm waiting for the other people to come but there are at least seven people the power of God is coming upon them you, the the fear you have is not just the regular fear for the unknown this is the spirit of fear right now I command that spirit by the power that raised Christ from the dead and in the name of Jesus Christ be delivered from fear now I cast that spirit out of your life I don't male female it has stopped you from taking daring steps you are afraid of everything you know it's an unusual fear be delivered from the spirit of fear now Let me pray for those who are here in front very quickly. Madam, what do you do? Huh? I was a teacher, I retired. Uh, uh, a minister oh. of God also, but my, I don't know how you explain it in the congregation. Mm, it's all right, madam. I understand. I'm going to pray for you. Listen, please look at me. God is able to restore time and God is able to restore things. He can restore the years but he can also restore things I don't know what it is that was stolen from you we're praying for the sick but I want to pray for you some of you have cried some of you is money some of you is opportunity all kinds of things but I want to pray for you you came for miracle service I'm seeing a mystery the right hand of many of you shaking supernaturally by the spirit of god i don't know why i'm sensing even that fire on my own hands lord jesus restore 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 it doesn't matter who did what i'm placing an anointing upon you restore help mama restore in the name of jesus everything that has been stolen that brought you down and from that time you've not been able to move forward I prophesy to you go forward now go forward now go forward now go forward now the door is open before you go forward now hear me help this man when it is time to pray for destiny help us please make sure you open up your spirit because all blessings come from God but they come through men to you hallelujah I decree and declare any virtue that was taken from you spiritually negative soul ties demonic things that have tied you down so you cannot move forward I break it now I break it now I break it now be delivered now wasters of destiny stealers of glory I command a restoration now and a separation from these spirits go and excel for some of you it will not be up to one month God will restore you back in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please return to your seat we are praying for the sick
lay your hands please help mama just just help her if you are standing in for someone whether you are inside or outside following across the globe i'm about to pray for the sick right now believe in miracles jesus heals he truly truly heals miracles are real they are not stage managed no lay your hands and let me pray for you father in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god now here's what will happen please look at me just a quick instruction it is important to testify of the wonder working power of god tonight we are not only going to allow those who have been healed to come everybody who has been imparted by this you've been delivered a change has happened in your life supernaturally something miraculous has happened right now now listen to me many of you will be very surprised to see what has happened in your life and you have your evidence here let me pray for the sick and then i am going to give you two or three minutes will only take a limited number of people but as many who have been touched i know that everybody has been touched but any striking notable miracle including that which is about to happen i want you to come and stand in front here or here will give you an opportunity to testify and then please listen many of you miss the remaining part of this service impartation and prophetic decrees are a major part of the miracle service you hear people come and testify not everybody is sick god may not call everybody's name and then we are constrained by time when you want to have extended meetings like this it will take a long time to be able to minister but everybody should receive in the presence of god and so please if you are coming out make sure that there is no delay i'm going to be praying for the sick but even if right now you know that the power of god has taught you you've been delivered it is still all right for you to start coming out so that we'll save time but i want to pray for the sick remember what i told you about the woman with the issue of blood you reach out by faith you receive and then you check yourself doing what you couldn't do the moment you find out that there's a miracle i want you to run and come very quickly father in the name of jesus the spirit that is back of any and all infirmities health conditions emotional conditions spiritual conditions that are manifesting as illnesses in the name of jesus christ i declare be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed now high blood pressure go down now and by the way if you need to quickly go and check yourself we have a medical stand there very trained professional doctors lab technicians and all of that so you can do well and someone if you need to check yourself say a miracle has happened and you want to verify you do that we make sure that we only announce miracles that are verified because we're ministering to the entire globe are we together right now in the name of jesus christ eye conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed in the name of jesus anyone who could not walk i declare by the power of the holy spirit begin to walk now you could not stand begin to stand now you could not move any part of your body begin to move it now in the name of jesus every lump every growth in any part of your body i decree and declare that it disappears now by the power of the holy spirit any terminal illness whether here or across the hospitals connecting in the name of jesus i bring you life and healing in the name of jesus christ blood conditions be healed now there's a woman i'm seeing in a vision you have pains all over your body you can't tell exactly what it is but your joint pain you know how someone who is a sickler sickle cell anemia you know when they have this crisis that's how you feel perpetually it's like your body is hot there's just pain from head to toe the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone you had a dream and in that dream you saw that there was something wrong with the left part of your breast and you are already being you are already afraid because you've been sensing pains and a spirit has been ministering to you that most likely this is cancer by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed right now be healed right now the Lord is showing me an interesting case there's someone your is like your feet I don't know if it is rotting at the edges don't feel embarrassed I don't know if it's like something sort of like a fungal infection affecting your toes and this is something that is terrible and embarrassing you're even tired of it you've tried to treat it and it's not going in the name of Jesus I declare be healed now joint pains pains around your joints in the name of Jesus be healed lumbar spondylosis in the name of Jesus be healed be healed there's someone you went to the hospital and they told you something is wrong with your brain I don't know if it's cancer or a tumor or something literally in your brain I'm declaring to you right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die hallelujah the Lord is showing me a vision I'm seeing a woman you are following from the United Kingdom you are with your five-year-old son in front of you and I, I don't know if it's autism or something that makes him hyperactive you are standing for a miracle for him in the name of Jesus Christ right from here in Nigeria I decree and declare may the power of God touch that person I pray for all those who are connecting trusting God for healing across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus be healed right now now whether I mention your name or not right now I want you to check yourself and do what you couldn't do I declare healing if it's your arm move it right now if it's your neck move it your head if you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself the moment you find out that the power of God has taught you along those alongside those who either fell on the anoint on under the anointing or had some kind of breakthrough the moment you have a testimony please you can begin to come out right now check yourself very quickly let's celebrate them as they come don't be ashamed don't be afraid while that is happening while that is happening if you are yet to submit your prayer request wave it wave it let the usher see concurrent okay please wave it ushers make sure that you quickly collect the request just be patient wave it and an usher will be here and if you want to quickly write please just write very quickly those who have been healed those who have received miracles please don't distract them whether from the overflow outside the basement make your way very quickly and come in now make your way very quickly let's celebrate them as they come make your way very quickly and come make your way very quickly check yourself and those who are following from hospitals the power of God has touched you you fell under the anointing you were delivered something supernatural and miraculous happened to you I want you very quickly you can send in your testimonies our media team PR team are here to receive you in the name of Jesus those who are coming from outside please allow them very quickly let's have a few testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ there is a woman I'm seeing um, your lower the lower part of your abdomen I want you to check it there was something like a a swelling there and right now it's gone you can you can check it and come and testify to the goodness of God very quickly if you are coming out please come quickly so that we move to the next the next section hallelujah yes please are we ready let me just know if we have a few testimonies hallelujah praise the Lord yes sir awesome. Thank you, sir. So uh, we have a few testimonies coming in. Um, so this is brother. What's your name? My name is Victory. Just a moment, sir. There is a gentleman outside. You cannot walk very well with your left leg. I don't know if you are using a crutch or you are just feeling discomfort. But I want you to check it now. I just saw the power of God touching you outside. There is a mighty miracle for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. So for three days, he's been actually having a restriction in his chest. Okay. 
here for like three days now. My chest has been paining me. Each time I try to breathe, I cannot take a deep breath. So after the um, offerings and um, testimonies, the moment the man of God took the mic, as I just heard his voice, I became better. Like I can breathe properly right now. Breathe in and out. In and out. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. All right. So the next testimony, please come down. Is there someone with the name Afiniki? I just heard that name, Afiniki. There is a miracle that the Lord is bringing for that person. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. All right, sir. So, Apostle, she had an accident. You had an accident? Yes. And for the past three years. I had an accident, and after the accident, I had a dislocated wrist. So, for three years. So uh, it was treated, but I had some restrictions with the hand, and the pain was severe if I tried to move it more. All but right. Immediately you were preaching, even before the prayer started, I just had the relief. Check yourself. I just Any pain? Are you celebrating Jesus? I told you that health in one word is liberty. In Jesus' name, it never returns amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen and amen. Yes, sir. Afiniki, can I pray for you? There is a miracle that God is bringing first in your body and then your life, your family. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be a supernatural testimony for you. Everything that has held you down, I'm seeing you crying. In the name of Jesus, weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. I bring you life and healing. You will come and stand before God's people and testify. God is turning everything around. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, we have a very interesting testimony here. Yes, sir. So, for the past 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. He's actually been having a strange itching. A strange so, itch? Okay. Yeah. Straight to the point. Okay. It has been a long time ago. I, I can't remember exactly, but 2010, 2011. So it was one afternoon, I started feeling fever. Anytime I start feeling sick, I have short of blood. So they will not take me to blood. They say medicine called reference 12. If they give me the medicine, I will come back to normal strength. And it will not take time, like within a year, I will still have short of blood again. Yes. So later on, the crashing started. It will crash me, but it will stop. It will crash me and it will stop. So once what happened time, now? So when I came here, I have saw you in my dream healing me three times. But when I come to Kononia, I feel somehow because it nothing come. I see people falling on the mountain. I say, God, why me? Where do you so, feel where do you feel the itch? Your hands or all over yeah, your I body? I see the inch and now that it comes, it's all over my body. It happened for the first time all over my body. It started happening in particular places. So now it's happened all over my body this month. So I saw you healing me in my dream three mm. times before. What happened to you now? So when I came to the service, I have to fall under nothing three times the same way I saw you in my dream healing me. And right and now, left. it's gone. Yes, sir. Let's give Jesus praise. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Chronic pain in the chest as a result of ulcer. Ulcer. Yes. And right power now, God came upon him and his whole down. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, you please. You word of knowledge about a woman with pain all over her body. Yes. She has had it for the past four years. So difficulty in standing. But now... How she... long, madam? Conservatively, over four years. Over four years. So, as I came for this uh, miracle service, I just told myself, I said, I, I really want to be part of it. And I like to stand and do my worship. But I just noticed I've been standing since I came. And, uh, and the I've pain been, is not there. Uh, then when you were administering, you know, the word came that uh, joint pain and spondylosis. And these were the uh, specific words the doctors used. Used for you. And right now, check yourself. Any pain. Let's celebrate Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are we ready? Difficulty in breathing as a result of pneumonia but now he can breathe in and out pneumonia yes, sir. in the Please. name of jesus we rebuke pneumonia it leaves you never to return again by the power of the holy spirit amen and amen quickly who is ready 
Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, sir, we, you gave a word of knowledge concerning the, the lumbar wow. pain. So yes. I've had it since 2016. Yes, I had sir. a diagnosis done in 2018. The exact words, lumbar spondylosis. So, right now, I can bend. I can move around. Bend. Bend now. Any pain? Any pain? Koinonia. Are you celebrating Jesus? In the name of Jesus, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. So, Apostle, these amazing women, um, you gave a word of knowledge concerning people that had dreams. Yes, you know, sir. Um, whether a lump or a pain in yes. the chest, yes. in the breast. So, three of them. All three of them. Praise the Lord. I, I had a dream. I have a lump in that dream, and it burst out, was smelling. I woke up. Not too long, I started developing lung. Like four years now, I went to the hospital last week, um, last two a week ago. They said they will remove the whole breast. I said no. I ran to God. And this is my first miracle service. When daddy was reading the, the book of um, Jeremiah, yes. God gave me that same scripture. I was abandoned from a Muslim house. They, don't, they thought that nothing will write on my back. It, all the word was for me today and I strongly believe I will not live here with this lump. And when daddy was declaring, I had, I, I was imagining thunder flowing in my breast. Later, I had a broom and it affected my back and my neck as if they lose rope from the lump. I believe God has touched me. Place your hand on your chest, my dear. In the name of Jesus, I release you. Now! By the power of the Holy Spirit, it will never return again. I declare that they will not have to do anything over your body. A miracle has happened to you, and it remains so in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Um, just last night, I, I slept and dreamed that my mother had breast cancer, and she was so sick, and she was dying. And it was like it was me, it was her. And within the week, I've had a, a lump in my armpits. But I thought it was a boil and I took drugs for it. So while you were praying and you said that, I just laid my hand on my chest and the power of God fell on me. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes, please. God bless you. Sometimes last week I had um, a sharp pain on my left breast. Then I now dreamt later that now it was now cancerous. That my, my two breasts were now cancerous. So I woke up and I started praying. Then you gave the word of knowledge and the pain is actually gone. Let me pray for everyone here. The spirit of cancer, whether for you or for your loved ones, I release my faith with you. Don't say it comes with old age. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that thing will never find expression in your body. And hear me. If, if we have people here, I know from a medical standpoint, they say there are people who have a history or it's, you know, it's, it's like it's hereditary in the name of Jesus whether cancer or any spirit that is transferred by blood that it happens to everybody in the family in the name of Jesus because you are here tonight I break that cycle finally and any negative dream you have had as to anything that relates to sickness in your body it remains a dream it remains a dream it will never find expression in your life in jesus name i pray yes sir okay so that's that's it for her okay let me take go ahead apostle mama has had diabetes for the past three years three years now, yes now one of the symptoms is that she cannot see from afar but now i asked her she said she can see you and then they have got to check for the medical stand she's sound now hallelujah are you celebrating jesus how long was this man three years please. three years in the name of jesus it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit you are completely delivered yes please pain in the heart abdomen for the past two weeks she has had difficulty in urinating but she said she was just coming from the convenience now and she's okay she was able to urinate every demonic thing i curse it right now in the name of jesus i told you health in one word is liberty I declare be free completely in Jesus name yes please she had accident two weeks ago you made mention of someone she had accident fold, what is in the photo her. that's the yes. accident yes now she can fold her fingers now what could she you couldn't do? do that let, let her talk I cannot fold my hand I was going to walk I'm a police officer I fall in a bike 
It's just so my save on the ground. My waist, if I pull up my body now, people will run. And I just feel my hand, I cannot move my hand. I didn't discuss it with anybody. I've been praying with my father, my brother. I'm Nantel from Lanta. I've oh been my praying God. with in NSPPT. I said, this is not my portion. My oh father my will deliver me anywhere I'm coming from. And right now, what and happened to you? Check yourself. My oh my God. My Are you celebrating Jesus? Lift your hands. I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus, oppression will not arise the second time and for any part of your body that has been injured you saw the scripture god will heal you from your wounds i declare let there be healing right now in jesus name i pray you gave a word of knowledge yes. of disappearance of long she has gone to check long disappear long long gone how long two weeks for the past two weeks I've been in the name of jesus you are free right now by the power of the holy spirit yes our growth in the abdomen she has got to check disappeared too growth in the yes. abdomen for how long my dear like three years three years you are sure you've checked it yes in the name we'll of jesus it, it will sir. never return to you again yes sir so sir she came in here she's had pains 10 years toilet infection 10 years 10 years toilet infection. no that is a demonic <laughs> issue you now see the difference between a medical condition and a spirit a medical condition will easily respond to drugs because the leaves are for the healing of the nations. The moment it unnecessarily defies the attendance of medicine, then a spirit has come to be part of it. Not every discomfort is necessarily the presence of a spirit. It is the, sometimes it can be the normal wear and tear of just having a human body. But when that is so, food, vitamins, and some medical attention should easily attend to it. The moment you see that your headache does not respond to good food, good rest, Panadol is a spirit. A spirit has come behind that headache. So you don't just use Panadol, you cast it out. Are we together now? Ten years, infection. Yes. Don't cry, my dear. Straight to the point, huh? Okay. In the name of Jesus, the Lord has seen you. He has seen your heart. In the name of Jesus, your testimony remains permanent. In Jesus' name, she's overwhelmed. God bless you. Hallelujah. Apostle, she had a, a growth here and it dissolved. Completely. How long? Um, I had it June last year. He first disappeared in December, then he came back. But now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So again, for her, sir, she had a strange growth here. Yes, my head. There's something moving as if it's stone. As loud as you can, my dear. Something is moving in my head like stone, as if I would mad, I would get mad. And as you pray, I just fell under the anointing and the thing left. Where are you coming from? From Benway State. Everything that is not of God. And any human agent in partnership with demon spirits, in the name of Jesus, what happened to her man? What happened to Gehazi? It will happen to them. Anybody who has vowed to walk in partnership with Satan that you will not find rest in the name of Jesus I pray may the fire of judgment from heaven it must land upon them You are set free my dear free from every demonic thing Ah, Hold on. No, I'm not done with this lady lift your hands. Look at me. I just saw something looking like a snake in the name of Jesus Release this lady now by the power that raised Christ from the dead my dear, I declare total deliverance for you. I cut you away from anything associated with demons or causes in your family. You are free now and free forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Okay, sir. All of them, they've all had pains, pains in their head. Pains, okay. several pains. My, mine is uh, this, I have chest pain. Yes. For the past four years now, based on the, the work I normally do. So. And you've been healed right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you and all those who have suffered all and various kinds of pains, I bring you life and I bring you healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. For the sake of time, um, do we have any, any other striking testimony? Let's just have one. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Praise the Lord. <laughs> My leg has been itching me for the past, since 2018. Your leg? Underneath my feet has been itching me. 
So when you prayed for fungal, I still, when, if I apply pressure to my leg, I would feel the itchy. So I kept on praying. And then I even had to remove my bag to use the pin to choke the leg. Because whenever I do that, it itches. The pain sees. At the escalator, I, I itched my leg. You so went now and it's gone. It's gone. Celebrate Jesus. It's gone. It will never return to you again, my dear. Amen. You are free and completely free. Let's take one or two here and then we'll get straight to the request. From the PR line, you gave a word of knowledge of somebody streaming in the UK. A boy who is five years old, he couldn't hear. But when you gave that one word of knowledge, they said he hear pop open and he can hear now. All the way from they the United the Kingdom. PR line. Hallelujah. Are you giving Jesus praise? Listen, our global family, it's important for you to understand, like I said earlier on, that time and distance is not an advantage in the realm of the spirit. It's only an advantage in this realm. Your miracle is at the instance of your faith. Once your faith can connect to the power of God, then the limits have been taken away. So I'm praying specially for those who are following from across the globe. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be all kinds of miracles, all kinds of breakthroughs, all kinds of restorations for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Movement in the body for the past seven years. For the past seven years. Yes. With pain. Now she gave the word and the power of God came upon her. She fell and the pain is no more there. How long? Seven years. More than even seven years. Where are you coming from? Uganda. Okay. What happened to you? So you, you, I was standing there and I'm feeling the normal pain. Pain moving all over my body. So you said somebody has pain. Like, um, yes. So I just fell under the anointing. And when I got up, I couldn't feel it. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I sent a movement to you for the past two weeks. For the past two weeks? Yeah. I had like, a, I could feel like a heaviness in my stomach. Okay. And it's gone body. now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it will never return. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. So, Apostle, we need to hear this. Please. We need to hear this and also see something very interesting. So, first, let's hear the first testimony. Yes. From all right, Daddy, you mentioned, you mentioned while you were speaking that people will get healed of breast lump. Someone from Switzerland was healed of two years of breast lump. Breast lump Are you celebrating Jesus? Two years healed completely. We also have somebody from Ghana with an abdominal growth disappeared. We also have another person from Ghana, back pain of six months healed. Completely. We also, we also have another one from Ghana, healed from leg pain. Praise Our God. Ghana family seems like they are really opening up to connect by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, your healing remains permanent. Yes, sir. Then, Apostle, we need to hear this one. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, you know he's, he's saying, what he's saying is found in Acts chapter 8 from verse 5 and 6. Acts chapter 8 from verse 5 and 6. Our time is gone. But what it says is that Peter, I mean, Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ. And the Bible says the people with one accord, they gave heed to the things which he spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. You both hear and see if it is the power of God. Yes, sir. And you give a word of knowledge about someone's left toe. That's my elder brother. Someone's left toe. Yes. His oh, legs, dear. His legs before. And I keyed him for him. I called him immediately and he told me that after he finished speaking with my younger brother, he received my God and he Look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. Yes, that was before. And immediately I called him. He sent me a picture right now that a leg has dropped. Look at it right now. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is true. In the name of Jesus, that miracle remains permanent. That's an extraordinary miracle. We give Jesus praise, it will never return again in Jesus' name. Let's have this as a last one, very quickly. She's a medical doctor, so she wants to. Okay. Um, She's a medical doctor? Okay, go ahead. 
for intermittently over the years, I found that I have this tightness around my head. And so I've been having forgetfulness. It's easy to cover up at work and people don't know. I would wake up and there's as if there's a band holding my head very tightly. Mm. When we started praying, I just started feeling as if it was getting loose, getting released. And finally, when you pray just now, um, before I came out, in fact, that was a problem it's come out, that um, you prayed against everything about cancer. It's as if something just left my head and hit the ground. Before I would feel a heaviness in my head, if I shake my head, but now if I shake it, I can't even feel anything. My head Give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, healed forever. And every other miracle, whether announced or not, in Jesus' name, we declare that it remains permanent. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. I'd like you to begin to declare by faith, like the woman with the issue of blood, in the name of Jesus, this is my moment. Can you stretch your hands and pray if you believe in the God that answers prayers? The Bible says, unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Go ahead and pray. As I bow my knees to pray, you just believe by faith. I'm praying now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Declare. I would always say that this is the most accurate representation of your desires. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it. Someone is praying. Lord, this oppression will never return again. Turn my story change my life give me a testimony if someone praying connect me to strategic helpers go ahead in the next two minutes let the mighty god arise even over the issue of concern give you a testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i'm going to pray and speak over this i just sensed again in my heart to just call our father up and to just make one fatherly declaration we are made by the food we eat and the words we receive said Jesus Jesus said man shall not live by bread alone but that he can live he should live by food and words hallelujah father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over these requests I declare that the God of heaven will arise on your case the God of heaven will arise on your case in the name of Jesus finally your laughter arrives I say it again finally your laughter arrives everything that represents sadness here in the name of Jesus we drive it like smoke before the wind finally your laughter arrives finally your breakthrough arrives in the name of Jesus Christ for many of you the deliverer has a reason for you and what you will be counting are testimonies after testimonies after tonight in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak over your life in Jesus name that these Egyptians you see today you will see no more forever 